In this video, you'll learn how to create a business website in under 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's get into it. Welcome to the Mindry IQ. If you're visiting this channel for the first time, do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Also, by the end of this video, if you learn something out of it, do hit that like button. So let's start the creation process. This is going to be a four step process. The four steps are as follows. The first is getting your domain name. The second is getting your hosting. The third is installing WordPress and the fourth is editing your website. So let's tackle the first and the second that is getting the domain and hosting together. Now domain is your web address. It will look something like www.yourdomain.com and hosting is the place where your files are stored. We'll be using Bluehost to get both of these. Go ahead and click the link in the description below. Once you click on the link in the description, you'll be taken to the Bluehost website. Let's click on get started. Using this link, you'll get one domain for free. Choose whichever plan resonates with you the most. If you're going to build one website, you can choose this basic plan. If you're going to build more than one web website, it's better to go for the recommended plan. So I'll just select the recommended plan. I'll click on select. Let's create a new domain. So I'll search for my new domain. I'll just click on next. Once you click on next, you will be able to see that your domain is available. Go ahead and fill out the account information. Once you're done with the account information, let's go ahead and select our package. I have chosen the 36 month plan and I'm getting the first domain for free. Let's move down to where it says site lock security. I'll just uncheck it. Scroll down, put in your payment information. Scroll down, select the Bluehost Terms of Service, click on Submit. And just like that, you have your first and the second steps of getting the domain and hosting done. So we are, we are done with the first and the second step. Let's move on to the third step, which is installing WordPress. WordPress is the website builder software. This powers more than one third of the websites in the entire world and has a great community. So every problem you'll face in your website creation process, you'll get some valuable input from the huge community out there. In order to install WordPress, we'll go to the Bluehost control panel and we'll install WordPress from there. So let's install WordPress. Now you have your account created. So go to bluehost.com and click on login. Once you log in, go to where it says advanced. Scroll down to where it says Softaculous Apps Installer, click on it. Go to where it says WordPress, click on it. We'll click on this button called Install Now. Inside the software setup, the first option is choose the version. So we'll choose the latest version. In this case, it's 5.4. In the installation URL, I'll let the protocol be HTTPS. I'll choose my domain. In the site name, you can put in your site name and your site description. In the admin username, put any username other than admin. Put in your admin email. In the language, select English. Uncheck all the plugins. Scroll down to where it says install. Click on install. It says congratulations, the software was installed successfully. So we are done with the installation process. Remember two things whenever you are done installing. The first thing is your domain address, which would be something like www.yourdomain.com. And in order to get to the backend, you just need to put in wp-admin in front of your domain. So let's do that and log into our backend. So I'll get this login page. I'll put in my username and password. I'll click on login. So now I'm inside the backend of my website. So we're done with the step number three. Let's move on to step number four, which is editing the website. In order to edit the website, we'll first install one of the free plugins, which is called Astra Starter Templates. Now this, as the name sounds, is a set of starter templates so that you don't have to start from scratch. This will install all the relevant themes and plugins for you. So it's a good place to start quickly. So let's go ahead and do that. Inside the website backend, let's move to where it says plugins. Let's click on add new. Move to where it says search plugins. Let's type in Astra starter templates. Click on install now. Click on activate. Once you activate, you'll be taken to the plugins page. In order to see the library of templates, you can either go to where it says see library from here or you can go to Appearance, go to Starter Templates. Inside the Page Builder, select Elementor. These are all the templates available. Now some have agency written over it. These are pro templates. So let's go ahead and click on this drop down. Click on Free. We are interested in business websites. So let's just click on All. Click on Business. So let's go ahead with this Yoga Studio website. 
I'll just click on yoga instructor. This lets you see all the pages associated with this website. In order to preview this site, you can just click on preview yoga instructor site. You can scroll through the website. I think it's good enough. I'll just cancel out of it. Go to where it says import complete site. I'll click on it. This plugin will install and activate the Astra theme. It will import all the customizer settings. It will import all the widgets. It will install the required plugins and it will import some starter content as well as you saw on the website. I'll click on import. Once the site is imported, you'll get this message of imported successfully. Now you can view your site, click on view site. In a few steps, you have your brand new website created. We have now installed Astra starter templates and a website. Let's move ahead and edit that website. In order to edit a website, just remember one thing as to where the setting which you are looking for is situated. Now there are two places you'll find whatever setting you are looking for on a page. The first is the theme setting and the second would be the plugin settings. So let's change some of the theme settings first. In order to change the theme settings, find where it says customize on the front end, or you can go to the back end. Inside appearance, click on customize. So I'll do it from the front end itself. I'll click on customize. So now you are in the customizer page. You can customize whatever settings are affected by the theme. So if I hover my mouse over the logo, you'll see this blue pencil icon pop up as well as when I hover my mouse over the menu icon. So this says click to edit this element. If I scroll down, you'll see that the blue icon does not pop up anywhere. So I know for sure that only this header is created using the theme settings. Rest has been created using the page builder. So let's change some of these settings. First, let's change this logo. I'll just hover over the logo. I'll click on where it says click to edit this element, the pencil icon. It takes me inside the site logo. First of all, let me just check this different logo for retina devices because I want the logo to be the same. Now let's remove this logo first. Once I remove the logo, you see that the logo has disappeared. Now let's select one logo. Let's go to upload files. Click on select files and I have one logo created for this. I'll click on open. I'll click on select. Now it's giving me certain crop options. I'll go with it. I'll click on crop image. Now I have my logo on the top. Let's reduce the width a little bit. So I'll just put in the width to 180. It looks good. Let's move on to the menu. I'll hover over the menu. I'll click on this pencil icon again. Let's create a button at the end. So where it says last item in the menu, I'll click on the drop down and select button. So now I have a button. Let me just change the text to login. So now I have my login button created. You can link it to your login page. I'm not doing that here. I'll just click on publish. You can change your view to mobile layout and hide this controls. You'll see how the website will look on a mobile as well. So it is highly responsive and it looks great. Let's open this panel again. Let's go to desktop view and let's get out of this customizer. So we have changed the logo and we have put a button out here. So we are done with the theme settings. Let's now change a few plugin settings. Now I know that this page is created using the page builder plugin called Elementor. So let's edit this page. In order to edit the page, you can just simply go to whichever page you are editing. Go to this top bar, click on edit with Elementor. Now every aspect that is created with Elementor can be changed. So if I'm hovering my mouse over any image or any text, you'll see certain windows pop up. So let's just change this heading. In order to change anything, you can simply go to this pencil icon, click on it. And on the left side, you'll see the settings change. Now you can change the title from here or in Elementor, you can change the title live. So let me change it from New Jersey to New York. And just like that, you have your settings. If I move down to the button, let's click on this edit button option again. Let's change this text from contact today to get started. And the changes are made. Now let's change this image. This image is inside this huge block which is called a section so i'll just click on this option which says edit section i'll click on it inside the settings i'll go to style inside the image i'll click on this image i'll go to free images from pixabay if you have your own images you can just upload them i'll search in for yoga select this image 
I'll click on save and insert. And the image is changed. Let's scroll down. Every aspect of this website, which is created with Elementor can be changed. So I'll move down and change one more thing. I'll change this image. I'll just hover over to where it says edit image. I'll click on it. Go to image again. Go to free images from Pixabay. I'll again search for yoga. Now let's change it to this image. I'll click save and insert. Let's click on update. Let's click on this option where it says preview changes and I'll click on it. And there you have it. We have made all the changes. We made the changes in the theme settings. We changed the logo. We put a button out here. Inside plugin settings, we changed this image. We changed this from New Jersey to New York. We changed this button text. And we changed this image as well. So these are the simple four steps of creating a website, getting your domain and hosting, installing WordPress and editing the website. If you like this video, do hit that like button. And if you're not already subscribed, do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well. Also leave me your feedback. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.